Undercover. We're catching up with uh, Taking Back Sunday, and we welcome along to Undercover uh, Eddie, Matt, and Adam. Good to have you here. Good Hi. to have you in the country. Thanks for having us. And welcome back. Oh yeah, yeah. It was only a few years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, like I, I think it's been about three, three or four years since we've since we've been here last. And, and honestly, coming back, you know, we've been here for about a week now. There, there's like I'm just a little, a little upset with us for not. For not making the trip back sooner, yeah. so but it's but we've been enjoying ourselves. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, there was the uh, the uh, uh, very well publicised foot incident, wasn't there? <laughs> oh yeah. 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 So I mean, you know, like uh, we almost lost a member of this band, didn't we? With... <laughs> yeah, they didn't there's... have a foot standing. No. <laughs> yeah. So what happened? Uh, we were playing in Ireland. Geez, now I guess it was last summer. Can't believe it's been yeah. long already. Uh, it was the first show after we got overseas, and I just kind of stomped my foot on stage, and he stepped to the left. I <laughs> took a step, and all of a sudden, my foot was like, "Bye." <laughs> he stepped to the left and didn't do the time warp again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you know that that must have looked uh, you know pretty shaky there for a while. Did it look like the band was going to have to stop that tour? Or uh, well, no. I mean, they gave him some RoboCop looking space age boots. Yeah, we I mean, just kind of pressed on it as usual. I was just on crutches for a while, but. Pretty much like the live show didn't change very much at all. Mm. Yeah, and you know this is you know all being the new boy in the band too. I yeah, mean, you know, not the not the way to act when you're the new guy. <laughs> <laughs> Making a fool of myself. Yeah. So you know, tell me about stepping into a band like this. I mean, you you guys have just had you know enormous success in the United States, and you know I guess you know particularly with that last record, it was so big uh, in America, and suddenly you're in this this you know chart topping band. Was that sort of a, a nerve wracking thing, or did you just fit in comfortably? Uh yeah, it was definitely intimidating for sure, um, but. Uh, you know, I, I, I auditioned against a lot of people and, and they picked me to join the band. So I just try to bring my thing to it and, and not, not be, uh, too heavily influenced by that kind of stuff. I just try to come and help write some good music and just keep things kind of moving forward. Mm. Because I guess, uh, Adam, when, uh, I, I guess the last album, when uh, Louder Now actually hit number two in America, did that take you yeah. by surprise? Yeah, well... Well, yeah. I mean, there, there's, there's we. Um, well, I mean, it's a, it's, it's surprising when anybody, like, um, like connects with, um, connects with what you're, with what you're doing. So then, when, so when a whole lot of people are connecting at the same time with what you're doing, is, it, it is, is it's, um, yeah, just a, it's just a great feeling. Like when we put record, when we put records out, like we never like, like. Um, think like oh man this is going to do this or this is or this is going to do that we just kind of put it out to the world and see what happens so for it to to have to have done so so well was um was real rewarding mm. and like i said you know what what is this now four albums 10 years you must be starting to feel like a, a veteran band yeah yeah right like, Class- <laughs> you're, you're that one step away from becoming the classic rock band <laughs> right. yeah. <laughs> It was like funny too, cause I, st- cause I still feel like we, like we have a long way to go. But yeah. then, but like yeah, like w- whenever we're reminded that it, that it's been ten years, we're all just kind of like whoa, yeah. like 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 we should probably know what we're doing a little better than we do. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how does it feel, you know, as a, as a catalog then, you know, going back over four albums and obviously putting a set list together, mm-hmm. you know, how much is being drawn upon from you know the first album, for instance, these days? Well, I, we try to. Um, we try to give each record its its due live because there's um because it because there's there's each um each one of those records i feel like means a means a different or it means different things to to different people that that come out to those shows or or to our shows and i and i don't want to um like like alienate anyone that would um that would come out so it's like a really good mix of of all four records mm. so and I guess you know for 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 you, Matt, the uh, you know the the catalog was there. Did you have to go back and learn every song? Uh, no, nah, I didn't learn every last song. There's, I mean, I kind of we had toured together a little bit, and and I've been a fan of the band for a long time and stuff. So I kind of just had a pretty good idea of what kind of songs they were already playing a lot. So I kind of started there and learned a lot of the ones that I knew that they definitely would play. And and um, with three records out, it was easy for me to kind of pick the ones that I knew that they would sort of gravitate toward from each one. So it made it a fairly easy process, I think. Mm. How did you initiate him into the band, Ed? 
Uh, I he had a he had to go streaking down the block, <laughs> took all his clothes off, and uh, yeah, it, he had to run around with a hockey helmet on his head. <laughs> there, there's Eddie has um, Eddie's had Fozzie do his laundry for the past year yeah. now, so yeah, yeah. Just, just stuff like that. Shh, he thinks that's what bands get paid. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I wasn't supposed to be doing that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, huh? <laughs> but is that like a quiz? I mean, you know, did, did, they, did the guy set you down? Or like, did they do a, like a who wants to be a millionaire sketch where, <laughs> yeah. you know, they asked you questions about the band? Well, luckily they didn't put me through that kind of ringer, you know. They were pretty yeah. gentle with me, I think, for the most part. Yeah. 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 I think it could have been harder, but... Yeah, in, in retrospect, I, I think that... There's a little bit of regret on their side. <laughs> yeah. So having this experience now in in a recording studio, going to do um, you know uh, the new again album. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, was it a matter of uh, pooling all of that experience from the th- you know the three previous records and you know just uh, making it easier? Does it get easier as it gets uh, as it gets older with the band? Well, there, there's it's um, going into the studio is is um, is just it's always like a learning. Ex- ex- experience because it's there's um it's like kind of like a like a like this crash course and both like recording and songwriting like or um i didn't go to i didn't go to college but i feel kind of like through like the different people that we worked with over the over the years and like the different techniques and then or like just the things that you learn from being really hands-on that it's um that i feel like in like a certain way that was kind of like art schooling so Mm. And and what about for you, Ed? Because you, you're the longest serving member of the band now. I guess you know one one of these days it'll be up to you to do the biography, <laughs> write write the screenplay, make the movie. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. yeah, I'm definitely the old guy in the band. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, like with uh, you know the, the 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 various incarnations of of the band over the years, how has it changed as uh, me- you know members have come and gone? Is it is it still feel the same to you as the original band? You know, it it does. I mean, honestly, like. I look at it as people come, people go, you know, as, as long as there's like a main core still wanting to do it, you know, we always make it work and it just, it never really, it's never really ever felt different, you know, mm-hmm. it's always felt like this, you've always been in the band with these people like forever, so. Yeah, and you know, it's been some interesting past, hasn't it? I mean, when, you know, the splinter happened and, and suddenly this band called Brand New came along and, mm. uh, you know, it was very, very successful, Yeah. You know? Have you, uh, have you have you actually had the chance to tour with Brand New as well? There's, I mean, we toured with them probably. I mean, it's probably like eight eight years eight ago, years ago yeah. nine years ago now. Yeah. So, um, so that was yeah, because we're trying to think, eight years. Eight years ago. So and then and then it was actually us them and My Chemical Romance. Yeah. Yeah. And then that was the last time that, or yeah, that I've even seeing any of those guys yeah that must have been an unusual experience then having like a former band member in another band on the same bill oh yeah i mean we're kind of used to it now yeah Yeah. but you weren't originally the singer no i i was originally the bass player and then the singer at the time quit and eddie just kind of looked at me and said okay your turn yeah (laughs) you're singing now so then um yeah like the like the first i think like six or seven shows I just faced our drummer the whole time I was, I was terrified because I didn't have anything to hide behind then yeah. and then but uh yeah but slowly I've got like I got acclimated yeah and you know like had he had aspirations to be the singer or did you sort of like notice him putting his hand up you know every now and then you know you I just sing? you know I watched him play bass live and he had so much energy and he was crazy yeah and he was always screwing up while he was playing bass because he had mm-hmm. so much like ah built up in him so I'm like this guy should be the singer yeah you know like that's basically how I saw it and ta-da yeah. yeah was it an easy transition for you no there it, it, it's no. it's, <laughs> it's it it. like no uh, or like I said you know like I was like I was really terrified at first and like you don't really know what to do with yourself and or because because you no longer have that mm. that you're, you're not wearing an instrument there's there's that and like I mean I don't think I really or well, I mean, I, I still haven't fully learned how to sing, so so it's just kind of, um, it's just kind of like this. We've just been going, uh, like, I mean, you know, yeah, flying by the seat of her pants and just hoping for the best. Mm. Well, you could have always gone back and studied uh, other other uh, music musicians in bands that ended up as lead singers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Phil Collins. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, true. Yeah. true. Yeah. Stephen Tyler was a drummer too, wasn't he? 
Really? Yeah, originally. Yeah. No, I, I didn't yeah. know that at all. Yeah. Huh. I mean, he was he was a really good bassist. Don't get me wrong, really good bassist. But no, I, he's lying. I just felt like he was better. <laughs> he was definitely a lot. I, I saw him more as a singer. Mm. He just had that energy. Mm. I guess you know the the first really big success was around two thousand four, wasn't it, Ed? Was that the time that you know it started to warp tour and yeah? There's yeah, like there two thousand four is when our second record came out, and like that, and like that's when things really started to. Like really started to change. We just started noticing a lot more people coming to the shows and and um, and wanting to hear us play our songs. You know, so it's um, it, it, it like because up bef- or like yeah, like kind of like right up to that point, it was just kind of like this organic kind of gradual build. But then like right around then is when it really started happening for us. Yeah, and you know, was that the time that you knew uh, this is it? This is the career now. We've made it. Um, I don't. Yeah. I guess, I mean, there were moments where I was like, oh, um, this is going to be huge. And then there's moments where I was like, ah. Uh, I should go back to waiting yeah, tables. Yeah, waiting yeah. tables. <laughs> there's that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it, there was a feeling there that I was excited about. When was your last day job? Wow. Uh, 2001. Yeah, 2001 was the last time. I worked. Yeah. Deli. We, uh, we both worked at the same deli. He, he made sandwiches and I was the delivery boy. I don't yeah. know if you guys have delicatessens here. Yeah. Okay, so, um, yeah, I was a deli guy, and he was a delivery boy, and it was fun. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Matt? I worked at a math institute up until early 2008 when I joined the band. A math institute? Yes. So we have an intellectual in the band. No, <laughs> uh, I did, like, I did the grunt work, like, the, uh, the database stuff and the boring, like, yeah. typing all day long, but luckily I was just in my own world listening to music and stuff, so I'd be like, uh. Yeah. <laughs> Spacing out on a computer. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let's talk. Uh, let's talk movies. Yes, mm-hmm. you guys have uh, had your fair share of movie soundtracks. Oh Daddy, yeah. Danny, back to Spider Man Two. I think that would have been about the first, wouldn't it? Yeah. Or well, um, the first one I think was um, I think this movie called Electra, which is a, was a big disappointment for me because what Electra is, it's like the spinoff that came from Daredevil, mm-hmm. and Daredevil is one of my favorite comic books ever. And um, I think they really blew it with the movie, and movie. and and with Electra too. So it was like, cool to be on a soundtrack, but I was so disappointed in the movie itself that that it was that that it, that it was kind of like, Ugh. but um, Spider Man Two the, made up for yeah, it. Then. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 like that <clears throat> and uh, Fantastic Four, Transformers. So it's been. It, it it's really cool like it's like we've yet to have one like really featured during the movie like it always kind of just happens during the credits or something but um but it's just cool to be to uh to to have like a little stamp on something that huge and universal yeah well what about this descendants medley i mean that was a, oh, an unusual there, idea yeah. wasn't it well they um tony hawk uh they're like they they approached us cuz they were coming out with that new video game and um and kind of what they were wanting was for um, for bands like uh, or for current bands to cover like the like their favorite bands. So so we picked the Descendants and um, those songs just fit together nicely. So it, and 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 still like it's funny because it's like two songs, but it's only like three minutes long. <laughs> so but yeah, it's fun. And uh, is that because they're a favorite band? Um, well, they were a really influential band yeah. for um, for us growing up. You know, like I, um, there's there, I, like I wouldn't say favorite, but but they're definitely up there in the in the top. Mm. And you've done your fair share of uh, television shows over the years. Yeah. So uh, the, okay, let let let's vote here amongst you know the three of you. Leno versus Conan. Conan. Who should have stayed? Conan. Conan. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 It's such a bummer what happened with him. Mm. It. I don't think he had the Leno's chance to really <laughs> cultivate like a really cool thing with mm. <clears throat> the Tonight Show. See, and, and I also think that Conan kind of caters to people that are like our generation, and that and that our generation now, like it, like as they're getting older and they're getting out of school and it, and and they're like starting families and like real jobs and and, and thing and things like that. So, um, just like with what Matt said, like I don't feel like he had really enough time to to establish himself like in that in that time slot because because i feel like if you would have given him like a year and a half it just would have been they or they the nbc would have gotten those those ratings back but it's and i understand leno didn't 
didn't want to leave, but it's just kind of like, I mean, he's been there for a long time. So you know, you know who doesn't have any problems at all is Carson Daly. He's still on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I mean, the one late night guy that everyone's always like, why is he still around? He's still around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have you done that show as well? Yeah, we've done it. Yeah, we've done it all. Yeah. yeah well, e- e- everything but Saturday Night Saturday Night Live. That's yeah. the. That's the one that we really want to do. We just haven't haven't gotten the opportunity yet. Let's be honest, Adam. Saturday Night Live and The View. Oh, and The View. And The View. Yeah. And yeah. Ellen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Ellen. <laughs> and, well, and then I think if we did Oprah, we would have... <laughs> Oprah retired, so she's not around anymore. No? Yeah, no. Oh, bummer. No, she didn't, did she? Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. What? Yeah. She had her last show like a month ago. Dang. All over. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, yeah, yeah. Well, there goes that. <laughs> I didn't watch it at all. Yeah, yeah you did. Every day. Matt only joined the band because he thought he had a chance. Yeah. To get yeah. I thought we'd play him. He's <laughs> out. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> the guys from uh, Taking Back Sunday.